can't breathe I can't breathe Nine, nine, nine Waiting for the exhale I toss my pain with my wishes in the wishing well Yeah Step into the world of lyrics and meaning with yours truly. In each episode, I dive deep into the heart of the music, breaking down the lyrics and exploring the messages behind the songs, bringing you my unique perspective and fresh take on the music that moves us. These reaction videos are the most viewed videos on my channel from these artists, and they're filled with my personal insight, opinions, and observations. So come join me as we explore the soul of the music together and discover the hidden treasures within the songs we love where music and meaning collide. Welcome to the Lyric Breakdown series, where we take a deep dive into the meaning behind some of the most thought-provoking and emotionally charged songs. In this episode, we'll be exploring Juice World's Wishing Well, a track that reflects on substance abuse and the dark side of fame. With references to his drug of choice and his tragic passing, this song is a haunting reminder of the toll that addiction can take on even the most talented and promising artists. Join us as we unpack the lyrics and try to unravel the complex emotions that inspire this powerful track. In the opening to his verse on the song Wishing Well, Juice World uses repetition and a simple melody to create a sense of urgency and distress. By saying I can't breathe repeatedly, he is conveying a feeling of suffocation or being trapped in his own thoughts and struggles. The number 999 is a reference to his personal mantra and message of turning negative situations into positive ones. When he says waiting for the exhale, he may be suggesting that he's been holding his breath and waiting for relief or a way out of his problems. Finally, when he says I toss my pain with my wishes in a wishing well, he is using the metaphor of a wishing well to symbolize his attempt to let go of his pain and find some sense of peace or comfort. Juice World's chorus in Wishing Well highlights his struggle with drug addiction and the impact that it's had on his mental and physical health. The opening line, I can't breathe, I'm waiting for the exhale, speaks to the suffocating feeling of addiction and the desperation to escape it. The metaphor of tossing his pain with his wishes in a wishing well suggests that he is using drugs as a coping mechanism to deal with his emotional pain. Despite his efforts, he still hasn't found any luck in escaping the cycle of addiction. The line, I still try even though I know I'm gonna fail, illustrates his determination to overcome his addiction, even though he knows it's an uphill battle. The weight of his struggle is represented by the imagery of stress on my shoulders like an anvil. The mention of Perky or Percocet highlights the specific drug that he is struggling with. With the line, Perky got me itching like an anthill. The allusion to Lauryn Hill's song, Killing Me Softly, further emphasizes the destructive impact of drug use on his life. The final line, sometimes I don't know how to feel, speaks to the emotional turmoil and confusion that comes with addiction. In these lines, Juice Rell is describing a phone call from his depression, which he personifies as a separate entity. His past traumas and memories have been used against him and he feels like he is constantly under attack. The line, on the other line, I talk to addiction, underscores his sense of powerlessness. As though addiction is a person he is in conversation with rather than a condition he can control. Overall, the verse paints a picture of someone who is struggling to find a way out of a cycle of depression and addiction and who feels overwhelmed by the challenges they face. Juice World's words in this verse suggest a complex and conflicted relationship with drugs. By personifying addiction as the devil and referring to drugs as something he misses, he acknowledges the destructive power of substance abuse while at the same time expressing a yearning for the feeling they bring. 
The line, this can't be real, is it fiction, conveys a sense of disbelief or detachment from reality, as if he's struggling to come to terms with the consequences of his addiction. It's a poignant reminder of the challenges many face when trying to overcome the lure of drugs and the devastating impact they can have on one's life. In this part of the verse, Juice World expresses a deep sense of despair and hopelessness. He acknowledges that something inside him feels broken and needs fixing, but he doesn't know how to do it on his own. He cries out for help, but wonders if anyone is actually listening. It's a stark reminder of the isolating and suffocating feeling that comes with mental illness and addiction, and how it can make one feel utterly alone even in a crowded room. The line, I'm gonna be alone until it's finished, is a haunting admission that the struggle may ultimately be a solo one and that the outcome may not be a happy one. In the first part of the pre-chorus, Juice Rell is expressing his inner turmoil and the conflict between wanting to appear strong and not burden those around him with his struggles, while also acknowledging that he is not truly fine. It is a common sentiment amongst those who struggle with mental health issues where they feel pressure to maintain a facade of wellness and keep their suffering hidden from others. By admitting that he is lying, Juice World is being honest with himself and his listeners about the internal battle he is facing. He is also showing that even though he may not want to burden others, he is still seeking connection and understanding. In the second part of the pre-chorus, Juice World seems to be expressing a fear of vulnerability and rejection. He is suggesting that he feels the need to conceal his emotions in order to protect himself from being hurt by others. This could be a reflection of his struggles with mental health and substance abuse, which may have made him feel isolated and disconnected from those around him. By hiding his true feelings, he may be attempting to maintain a sense of control over his life and avoid further pain and suffering. Overall, this line conveys a sense of emotional turmoil and a deep-seated fear of being hurt by others. In this part of the song, Juice World seems to be acknowledging the role that drugs have played in his life, both in terms of helping him cope with his struggles, but also in leading him down a dangerous path. He's being honest about the fact that his drug use has allowed him to keep going, but he also recognizes that continuing down that road could ultimately lead to his demise. It's a complex and conflicting sentiment, reflecting the deep struggle that many people with addiction face in trying to balance the temporary relief that drugs can bring with the very real and potentially deadly consequences of their use. In this part of the song, Juice World is expressing his inner turmoil and struggle with substance abuse. He acknowledges that he's just revealed a secret about himself and admits that his addiction is taking a heavy toll on him, tearing him apart emotionally. He confesses that he believes he needs the drugs to function even though he knows they're destroying him. The line, I stopped taking the drugs and now the drugs take me, suggests that he's already aware that he's lost control of his addiction and that his dependence on drugs has taken over his life. It's a stark and sobering admission of his own vulnerability and the devastating effects of addiction. The opening chorus of Wish and Will immediately set the mood for this raw and honest track from the late Juice World. With the haunting refrain of I can't breathe repeated throughout, the listener is instantly transported into a world of pain and desperation. As the chorus kicks in, we hear the familiar theme of hoping for something better. Even as if the weight of the world seems to bear down on the artist, the lines I can't breathe, I'm waiting for the exhale, toss my pain with my wishes in the wishing well, are delivered with a sense of weariness and resignation that is both heartbreaking and relatable. The second verse is especially powerful with Juice World openly discussing his struggles with addiction and the toll it has taken on his life. The lines, if it wasn't for these pills, I wouldn't be here, but if I keep taking these pills, I won't be here, are a stark reminder of the dangers of substance abuse and the real life consequences that so many people face every day. Throughout the song, Juice World's vocals are emotive and powerful, conveying the full weight of his pain and vulnerability. 
the repetitive nature of the chorus and refrain only adds to the sense of urgency and desperation, driving home the message that sometimes, even when we feel like we're at our breaking point, we have to keep pushing forward. Overall, Wishing Well is a haunting and powerful track that showcases Juice World's undeniable talent as a songwriter and performer. It's a sobering reminder of the toll that addiction and mental health issues can take, and a poignant tribute to an artist whose life was tragically cut short. Rest in peace. Be sure to drop your suggestions below on other songs you want me to check out and break down. See you in the next one.